Hi there, this is a follow up to my HeekCNC tutorial. Um, this is how to use OpenSCAM to verify that the HeekCNC G code output uh, actually makes sense. Um, let me pull up HeekCNC from last time. And uh, basically, it looks like everything's okay, but I'm going to show you that there are actually some errors in the generated file. So I'm going to open up OpenSCAM, and the first thing I need to do is add my um, G code to the project. So I go to project, add file. I have to show all files. Select my G code. Now uh, I get this kind of crummy drawing. I haven't defined any tools, so it didn't work right. I need to go to tool, uh, project and new tool. Once I do that, um, open SCAM finds all the tools that were defined in the G code. Uh, there was actually two. I only have one end mill that I set up inside Heek CNC, but for some reason it came out as two different tools. So I'm just going to define both of these tools as the same thing, um, a 3 8 end mill. Um, I'm going to use inches, and the length doesn't matter. I'm just going to set it to 1, at least for my purposes, 0.375. Double click there to get to the next tool. Uh, it's also a 3 8 inch end mill. I'm using inches. I'm going to set the length to 1, diameter to 0.375. Now my workpiece. You can automatically define one, or I would like to verify that I've got enough room around the ends to use clamps um, to the table. So I'm going to actually put in the dimensions, so I'm going to switch to inches, of my workpiece. By the way, I'm going to use high resolution. So my piece that I purchased from the plastic store is actually 15 inches by 10 inches by 0.5 inches. By the way, if you enter a negative number into the dimensions, it, uh, things don't work right. Now the offsets that I use where I gave one inch around the left-hand side, um, no, one inch, ah. negative one, okay, and half an inch around uh, the Y uh, to um, to give myself some room to clamp stuff. Um, uh, let's see. Okay. So now what? Well, now I actually want to see the output. Well, this is a bit funky. Let's see if this works. What you end up doing is you go down here to the lower left, and there's a refresh button. That will regenerate. Rereads the. Oh, I see. It simulates. And after it simulates, it'll update the draw screen. You can see that my tool is now here in the upper left. This takes a little while. 